people just don't go into the pit and win games, let alone win by double digits. It's something you guys talked about all week beforehand, how tough it was to go on there and play. How come you guys were able to do what you were able to do? Um, I think it's, it has a lot to do with uh, us, us uh, having experience as a team. Uh, I mean, uh, a lot of our early, early games were on the road at Gonzaga, you know, out in Ohio, and uh, stuff like that that prepared us for an environment like the pit. Um, uh, we went in there, stuck together as a team. A lot of us knew what we were getting ourselves into going in there and knew what it would be like uh, from last year. And um, we were just able to uh, maintain uh, the lead. I asked you uh, before the game last week, what's a better sound, the roar of the crowd or the silence of the crowd? Right. After after that game, what, what, would you still think the same thing? I like the roar better. I like the roar better. Um, it just being in the pit and it not not being as loud as it usually is just felt kind of weird. Felt kind of funny. Uh, would you agree with the uh, the sentiment that those early road games, those tough road games, that's paying dividend now? Um, definitely, you know, Gonzaga was a tough environment also, but um, we pulled that out and we kind of knew New Mexico would be, be difficult, you know, once they get on runs, the fans really, really get into it, but um, I think the team did a good job and we came out with a win. Quite 19 in a row now for you guys. What's the confidence like? What's the team feel like? I mean, does, do you guys feel like, hey, we can put absolutely anybody in the country? Um, yeah. We just uh, just feel uh, very confident uh, as a team. Um, we're just gelling uh, each, as each game goes. We're just getting better and better. And we just feel that we could play with anybody if we come out and play our hardest. Is that a good feeling? Yeah, it's a good feeling to be 19-0. and 0. You know, we haven't got no losses yet, so you don't know how that feels. And we just want to keep knowing how winning feels for the rest of the season. With all that being said, 19 and 0 being the next in the pit, are you surprised that you guys stayed at six? Number six? Um, I didn't even know until five minutes ago, uh, you know what what the rankings were, but um, I'm not, you know, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, we still got a lot of work to do, and um, we're really not caught up in the rankings. You know, we're just trying to get ready for for Air Force and uh, BYU. What does it say about you as a team and players that? Your fans are kind of sad that you didn't move up from number six, you know, when perhaps they thought you should have. Um, it, it, it says that, uh, I don't know, that, that, that you know, that we have a very special team and, and, and our fans notice it when, they, when they're uh, uh, down that, that we didn't move up. That just shows that, you know, the, the backing that we have from, from the city and it's, and it's something special. DJ, I think that was Billy who said that. Uh, there's still people out there that aren't taking you guys seriously. Do you use that as a motivator? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, a uh, com- couple of the coaches uh, tell us what's being said and, and, and stuff like that and read, and read stuff to us, uh, and we just use it as motivation. You know, people not taking us, you know, very serious or, or why are we ranked number six, you know, ahead of, you know, other um, elite teams and stuff like that. But um, at, at the end of the day, uh, we can only control what we can control, and, and that's just to win games. What, what examples do they use? I mean, 19 you're not playing anybody? I mean, that's what... Yeah, that we, have, you know, we haven't really played anybody, haven't really beaten anybody, uh, you know, the uh, top 10 caliber team, and, um, you know, how can we be ahead of, like, a Georgetown or, you know, Villanova, stuff like that. But, um, you know, like I said, that's, that's out of our hands. Hi, Malcolm. Um, how nice is it to watch DJ have the game he had when you guys have kind of been the points leaders all year long to kind of see the depth that this team has? I think it just shows um, how many weapons we have on this team, you know. Um, DJ, he's a, he's always been a scorer, you know. Everybody knows that. But I knew he was going to go have a good game once he hit a half-court shot. You know, <laughs> last year, Darrington Hobson hit one. And this year, DJ hit one, so I knew he was going to have a, a big game. DJ, is that, is that uh, instinct to be aggressive? I mean, you have to run the offense, but is it kind of second nature now when you need to step up and be aggressive, or is it something that you still are kind of adjusting with? No, it, it's a it's a feeling out there out there in the game uh, that I get 
Um, you know, when, when our bigs really aren't getting going because they're being double team, or you know, Kawhi is out the game, or, or, or in foul trouble, or something like that, or, or I sense that you know, our, kind of our energy is low. Uh, maybe you know, I'll try and push myself more on the offensive end, and, and, and try and get things going and to be more aggressive. So when I when I sense um, you know things aren't really going our way, uh, that's when I um, try and pick up you know my offensive game, because uh, you know our you know our bigs. Our bigs and Kawhi are our number one, number two option, you know, on the offensive end, and um, they're they're doing a great job for us. Malcolm, I think you mentioned that uh, that there was room for improvement. What, what do you all have to work on? I mean, I know that that uh, you had some foul trouble earlier, and Billy did as well uh, last game. What do you work on? I mean, it seems like everything's clicking. The offense is precise. The defense has become offense, uh, the pressure defense. What area, and this, besides you, what area do you guys think you have to work on? Um, execution, you know, we, we always say this when everybody asks, but um, we still don't execute as, as well as we should. And we're trying to um, work on defense more and more. We pressure the ball well, we run transition well, but I think we need to be a little bit better if we, you know, trying to play for a national championship or, you know, win the Mountain West championship, we just need to work on defense and execution more. I would say that um, um, putting two halves together at the, at the same high energy, that w- that would be, um, you know, our I think our biggest downfall right now is uh, sometimes coming out uh, slow in the first half and then, like everybody says, uh, going on that big run in the second half. And stuff like that. Uh, so I think instead of you know waiting for the second half, uh, we need to con- uh, to continue to try and and put two halves together of that high pace energy. Take us through, through what happens in the locker room during halftime. You're up by a couple of points. You're down by a couple of points. What is it? Is it Coach Dutcher or, or assistant coach Fisher that that is doing most of the talking? What happens? Um, he comes in there and gives us uh, what he thought about the first half. And then gives the team about uh, you know coach? Uh, coach Fisher, and he gives about three to four minutes to talk uh, amongst ourselves as a team. And all the coaches leave the locker room, and then we put a couple bullet points on the board that we need to focus on, and uh, we talk as a team. Um, and then uh, the coach comes back in and gives us uh, the next game plan. We go over the bullet pa- bullet points, and um, we just head out and play. PJ, earlier in the year, Steve Fisher said you guys <coughs> follow by example the New England Patriots, but now that they've lost, <laughs> who are you guys following? <laughs> uh, that sex. Uh, we, I mean, this we're not following anybody. We're trying to create our own history now. I mean, um, this is a very special season so far, but season's not even close to being over. Um, we're just we're just trying to do our best uh, day in and day out. It's got to be a football team. Pick one. I don't have one. Uh, you got one? No. <laughs> <laughs> is is BYU I mean, got Air Force this week? Is BYU thought yet, or is it still BYU? <laughs> BYU is always a thought, but um, we do have to focus on Air Force. Um, they're they're a very tough team. Uh, they execute their offense and, and have a much better team this year. Um, but uh, you know. BYU is always is always is always on the mind. Kim always on the mind. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I mean when you when they have somebody that's uh, considered you know player of the year uh, candidate, uh, it's something to always be aware of. How do you not focus on Air Force when BYU is down down the line? I mean, has have the blinders been put on? Is it the Falcons? Oh, absolutely. Uh, they're, they're not a bad team at all. They um, they were in the game with uh, UNLV with think like five minutes left to go in the game. Um, you know, we we can't underestimate anybody, especially um, when uh, we go when we go when we play somebody with a 19-0 record, they're gonna give us their best shot, and we know that. So um, when we go in, uh, you know, cocky and arrogant, that's uh, that's when most teams lose. So you can't. Um, underestimate anybody and just have to focus on the next game. Why have you all been cocky and arrogant? It seems like you're you all have been pretty even keeled this season. Um, no, not at all. I think 
that we're just staying focused as a team and just worrying about the team, uh, not looking at no rankings or just uh, who we need, uh, like what do we need to do to move up. We were just trying to get every win uh, each game. What's the difference in your defense this year? Why, why are you guys so much more effective on the defense than essentially the same players? <coughs> but what, what's changed? I just think it's the, the year of experience. Um, our, our help side defense um, has, has stepped, uh, stepped up a notch. Um, when, we, when, we fo when we try and force somebody one way, we know that we're going to have somebody there to have our back and somebody's going to be there to have their back. So I just think that just a year of experience and, um, you know, Coach Hutt, he's, he's, he's been riding us on defense extra hard this year and uh, he's done a great job with us. Uh, he teaches us stuff, new stuff every day on the defensive end. And um, uh, like I said, just the experience and, and, and our willingness to, to, to buy in and learn.